Welcome to watching here EPI's plating of an iPod with eBright Ultra CU. Sid Arthur, our senior technical service engineer, will be plating our non-tonite copper on an iPod. Go ahead, Sid. Well, first we take the iPod, you gotta clean the surface, scratch it up a little bit. What are you using to scratch it up with, Sid? I'm, right now I'm using a Scotch Bright. Okay. Isopropanol just to wipe it off, to get okay. the filings off. So you use rubbing alcohol? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so you got a mask, what do you do next? Okay, next I put the little plating. Uh, so that's made out of like a lucite plastic yes. that you glued up before, and then the copper, that's what? Is that your anode, that copper? This is the anode, yes. Okay. So what do you use that to glue it down? Just use some. Uh, some uh, silicone adhesive. Okay, then you want to place it down firmly on the area of the iPod so that it will prevent any leaking. Okay, and then what you put it on, then you got to let it dry until the glue dries, right? Let it dry a little bit, yes. Okay, great. Okay, Sid, so after you're letting it dry for five minutes, what's the next step? Well, the next step is if you want to stamp it, you can either stamp it before you put all this, the, the um, tank on it, or uh, you can stamp it now. Okay, so we had it and stamped it, so now what after you stamp it, what do you do? Okay, now it's ready to um, put the solution in Okay. and hook her up and start plating it. Let's go. First, I'm going to take the, the negative and hook it onto the base of the iPod. <clears throat> then I'm going to take some of the solution and actually I'm going to take the copper anode. copper anode, put that on and then I can fill the solution on top of that. That way you won't jostle the, the tank as you're putting the anode on and, and possibly create a leak. So you got a turkey baster there. Yes something that's usually found at home, but I wouldn't advise using it after that for turkey. Again, this video is not for the kids to do at home. You need parental uh, guidance when doing this at home. Okay, we've got the solution in there. Now we're ready to hook up the positive to the anode. just start timing it. Okay, what are you using? Can you show me your, your source there? What are you using for are you using a rectifier? I am using a big rectifier. Oh, one you... and a half volt C size battery. Okay, well, great. Let's see what it looks like after when it's done plating. Okay, so we've got our final time for plating which can be in from three to five minutes. Yes. Tell me what's next, Sid. Next is just to disconnect the battery. Okay. And then uh, you can take the anode out, set it on the side here. Okay. And now just suck the uh, solution back out, and discard it. And I usually take a little bit of water just to rinse out the, the cell before I disconnect the uh, miniature tank. Hey, you can see the copper in there. Look at that. Then you're ready to disconnect the rest of the unit, battery, and to take the miniature tank off. And just to, just to dry it a little bit.
Okay. And there's the finished product. Pretty good job, Sid.